Hi, Captain Al Lawrence Eddie here for ScrimmerOutdoors.com, Trophy Fishing Tackle, Bergen Bay Docks, and All Pro Charters bringing you the weekend update and fishing report. This for the weekend of May 10th, 11th, and 12th. Uh, Mother Nature first, it looks like uh, Friday's gonna be a little bit tough. Saturday is the day though, it looks like a really nice day. Wind out of the north, decreasing to almost nothing and uh, the waves dropping out in the ocean. So I think for Saturday is going to be a good day inshore and off. And then on Sunday, chance of showers, wind out of the east, it's going to be another tough day for fishing. But uh, anyway, it is what it is and try to make it out there whenever you get a break in the weather. And I would plan on Saturday, that's going to be the day this weekend. On the fishing front, uh, let's see, a lot of weak fish showed up, uh, both uh, east in the bay and west in the bay. Uh, there's been some hot action on the north side and east-west channel, small striped bass, some weak fish mixed in, some fluke. Uh, I caught a few fluke up in the state channel uh, on Wednesday, and uh, things are starting to happen. Also, uh, the word is from the beach, huge bluefish coming down the beach. Uh, they were just uh, outside Fire Island Inlet on, uh, on, third, uh, on Wednesday, and now they've probably moved into the bay, and I've been waiting for this to happen. So. Uh, the report was there was like nothing under 15 pounds. They were real monsters. So that's a blast on light tackle. I'm looking forward to doing that. And uh, let's see, flounder fishing, still a couple of fish being caught. It's pretty slim picks though, uh, you know, a fish or two here and there. And pretty much everybody now is focused on fluke. And on the weak fish, as I said, is a pretty good showing. Uh, the state channel has been very good and uh, also right around just outside of Cap Tree and those shallows there and all those rips, they're catching some fish. That's where a lot of the head boats are fishing as well. So anyway, it looks like is the time of the season for fluke and weak fish. And then we'll see what happens with those big bluefish. And right behind those big bluefish come the striped bass. That's just typical every year the way it happens. So um, down here at Trophy Tackle, one of my favorite places to hang out, thinking about those big bluefish. They got a tremendous amount of different terminal tackle in this season. Uh, Savage makes this uh, awesome mackerel type of lure, uh, surface walker, uh, and the bluefish I'm sure would like to chew on that. And then I like poppers for the bluefish in those shallows, that four or five feet of water. This one made by Shimano. It's a popper style face, but with a hole in the top. So when you pop it, it gets a jet of water that shoots up and spreads out down around it, creates a lot of noise. A lot of action, it's really hot. And then Tsunami also has a nice popper, which would be great on those big bluefish in those, in those shallow water areas. One other thing before we go, uh, down here at Trophy, they got in these worms. Uh, they're sandworms packed in a very small container with some kind of special, almost like a paper. And the worms are beautiful, I use them, they catch fish and they last guaranteed from three to five weeks if you refrigerate them. So they're reusable. I mean, if you don't use them all up, not like they're gonna be dead in two days, you can keep them in your refrigerator anywhere from three to five weeks. So it's a great product at a great price. Anyway, that's it. Have a great weekend, catch them up, have fun, and be safe.